Hello everyone, this is Boricua Binks and welcome back to Let's Play Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. Oh, in the last episode, we had um, the first half of the trial, where all of my theories started going out the window. I mean, some of it I think I was kind of right, <laughs> um, but the other I'm like, Kind of wrong? I, I don't know. I'm so confused with everything that's going on. Um, like, I thought Himiko was working with Maki, but it looks like apparently she was just helping Kaito. But Maki did, in fact, do what I said she did. She definitely used Exosol and she went in to save Kaito herself. And it looks like she might have killed Kokichi. But I don't think she would kill Kaito, so I feel like maybe Kokichi killed Kaito. But it's like, oh, uh, is somebody actually in the Exosol that's in the trial with us? Or is it empty and Monokuma's just messing with us? I don't know. Um, but yeah, I gotta say, the writing's really good because all of these twists and turns and me being confused is exactly what I want. <laughs> I don't want to come in knowing everything, you know? Because it'll be boring. Um, so thank you, Kodaka and the other writers, because I like being surprised. Although I'm already feeling emotional at the end of uh, the last episode, and um, I'm sad because I just feel still in my heart like we're gonna lose Kaito and maybe Maki, you know? <sighs> There's just no winning. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's continue on. And then the Monokuma and Cubs Theater segment began! But there's no Cubs. But with all the Monocubs destroyed, this segment was no longer possible, thank god. And so the curtain quickly fell. Oh, awesome. <laughs> nice and short. Last trial resume. flashback light became the motive. Ah. When Kokichi remembered that he was a remnant of despair, I planned to kill him. I thought that if I killed him, this game and the battle between hope and despair would end. Hmm. I was confident in my talent as an assassin. I knew I would be able to do it. Yeah. God, I wish you had killed Kokichi ages ago. But then I would have been sad because we would have lost Maki, you know? We've tried to end this killing game before, but it never ends well, does it? Yeah. Huh? That's what I thought. I knew Kokichi would take advantage of my naivete simply because it's him. Hmm. <laughs> Maki totally gets me! <laughs> That's why. I needed to settle it myself. I took the poison arrows and the crossbow. Okay, so you definitely did the poison yourself then. Hmm. And broke into the hangar with an exosol. But when I entered the hangar, I saw something I never expected. Which was that Kaito had decided to fight back, and he shot Kokichi too, right? Yep. Kaito and Kokichi were fighting each other. Ooh. Yeah, he shot him in the arm. Kokichi was probably like, what the F? <laughs> wow. Kokichi was shot in the arm with a crossbow arrow. Probably by Kaito when he fought back. Both of them stopped and looked at the Exosol. Most likely surprised by its sudden appearance. Hmm. Kokichi immediately took out his remote and attempted to control the Exosol I was in. I jumped out of the Exosol before he could, and shot Kokichi in the back with an arrow. Yikes. Ooh. That should have been enough to stop him, since the arrow was coated with poison. Ouch. Kokichi was already probably like, what the F, man, that hurts! <laughs> the Strike 9 poison, correct? But why pick that particular poison? Some of the poisons in my lab were far more lethal. That's true, but I feel like... She was going to make a deal with him and say, I have the antidote here. If you let Kaito and us go and stop this stupid killing game, then I'll give you the antidote. 
which is actually a pretty good um, idea. Rather than outright killing him, she could have just bargained with him. I wanted Kokichi to confess his true intentions before he died. Oh, or never mind. <laughs> I gave her too much credit. <laughs> she wants him dead. And find out why he was always lying and trying to confuse us. What do you mean? If he was the mastermind, it would have been easier for him to hide in the shadows, right? Mm hmm. He could have made it seem as if the late Junko was secretly behind this killing game. That way, he could reveal himself as the surprise mastermind to liven up the game. <laughs> She's calling out <laughs> how things normally go. <laughs> I, I mean, like, especially the first game. But yeah, normally you would expect us to find out the mastermind in this, the end of the game, in the sixth chapter. Surprise! It was me all along! But this one was like, nope, chapter 5, I'm the mastermind! Plus he was acting shady as hell the whole game, you know? <laughs> so, I see what she means there. Because of his suspicious actions, anyone would already suspect him as the mastermind. Right, which is why I was already like, mm, I don't think he's the mastermind. Since like chapter 2, I've already had my suspicions of who I think the mastermind is. Especially with that message in the courtyard. Oh yeah, that one really clinched it for me, like, come on. Kokichi said it was a hint, but was it necessary for him to go out of his way just for a hint? I mean, just looking at it, yes, it looks like it says this world is mine, Kokichi Oma. But the way it's written, I feel like there's a trick in here somewhere. I was trying to see if it's like an anagram or something, but I'm not that good with that kind of stuff. So maybe I'm right. Maybe if you rearrange the letters or whatever, you'll see that it's all a lie. <laughs> the ultimate lie. As a remnant of despair, I imagine he wanted to feel the despair of his plan being thwarted. I think that if he wanted the thrill, he would have carried out the plan carefully. Mm -hmm. So when his carefully laid out plan goes to waste, he would be in utter despair. Yeah, that's a good point. Maki must have wanted to hear it directly from Kokichi himself. But it was pointless. I was a fool for thinking I could have a serious talk with him. Mm. What are you talking about? The remnants of despair? What's that? Hmm. So here's the thing. Kokichi didn't see the same flashback light that we did. He wasn't with us anymore, so his memories wouldn't be the same as ours. And clearly, this is just further proof of that, you know? That without his memory, there's no way he would even have any inclinations towards being, like, a true mastermind. That's very interesting. I, I don't understand anything you're saying. Dude, that's just proof you're not the mastermind, man. But, anyway, why are you starting a killing game when it should have ended? See, it's almost like he wanted us to end the killing game. But then why did you kidnap Kaito, man? You're just making things worse for yourself. If you just, you know, walked away and said, yeah, I'm the mastermind, but uh, left everybody alone, maybe this wouldn't have happened. it was pointless to continue the conversation so I shot the final arrow and let me guess Kaito had stepped in the way and that's how he got his arm shot but then... yep Duh! yep so then he got poisoned too oh no <laughs> so this is when she probably has to bring the antidote she's like oh shoot Kaito no 
What? I think Kaito knew that he wasn't the mastermind. Kaito protected Kokichi? Yes. He must have figured it out. Or Kokichi told him. I don't know. Why? Why would Kaito protect Kokichi? At that moment, my mind went blank. I knew I had to do something about the poison. I rushed to Shuichi's research lab for the antidote. Mm-hmm. So you didn't have the antidote with you at the time. Yeah. I used Strike Nine poison to torture Kokichi for info, but I planned to kill him from the start. Yeah. So while she was gone, something must have happened, right? Like Kaito died, or maybe they both died and she came back and she didn't see their bodies? I don't know. What happened? <laughs> That's so mean! I'm so curious. But that was my first mistake. Because of that. Hmm. You what? Are you trying to say when I came back they were both dead? I ended up killing Kaito. Oh, shoot. No. When I returned with the antidote, the hangar shutter had been closed. I assumed it was Kokichi's doing, but because of that, I couldn't enter the hangar anymore. Oh, because you weren't in the Exosol anymore. Oh, no! So she has no idea what happened after that. Oh. I needed to give Kaito the antidote somehow, so I went to the bathroom window. Kaito, can you hear me? Quick, drink this antidote! After calling out to him, I chucked the antidote through the bathroom window. But were they already dead? Kaito noticed it and grabbed the antidote. Are you sure? But Kokichi stole it from him. How do you know? Oh, sorry. But I can't die here. Since I'm the mastermind of this killing game. Wait! There's only one antidote! Oh, you don't have to worry about Kaito. He fulfilled his dream, right? No, oh, you're saying because you guys were in space? He already went to space. Yep. Damn it! S stop Hmm. Phew, I feel so much better. I guess that's a wrap. Bruh. Bruh. Okay. I <laughs> First of all, I'm hoping it's just lazy drawing animation. He didn't uncover the drink at all, right? I see the cap still on. I'm hoping that's the case and not like me actually figuring out like, oh, he didn't actually drink it. Like, did he actually drink it? I don't know. Now I'm like, hmm. <laughs> that's the first thing I'm noticing is like, you do have to uh, open that, right? <laughs> Like, what if when she walks away or whatever, he's like, here, you take it. And he gives it to Kaito. Which I don't know why he would do that. Hmm. Everything is like, what the hell? So all the mess left behind... Everything... It, Maki didn't do it. Because she couldn't have access. Because she, she got locked out. Wow, this is really changing what I thought would happen. So this is why she really 100% thought all of this time that Kaito was dead. And she was so certain that Kokichi was the one in the Exosol. Interesting. Or maybe not. Because now another class trial is going to start. Class trial? You'll be the blackened for this case, you know. The blackened who killed Kaito. Hmm. I... I killed... Shut it! Screw the class trials! Like hell am I gonna let you have your way? Kaito! Why did you protect Kokichi? If you didn't help him, then... I couldn't help it. Even if it's Kokichi, I, I can't... have you kill anybody. 
That's another motive, yeah. Why he would step in the way, for sure. Oh, man. Hmm. This is so sad, thinking, like... I can't imagine how Maki's been feeling this whole time. The guilt, the heartbreak, blaming herself, saying, I killed Kaito. What? Aw, Kaito wasn't protecting me. He was protecting Maki. The situation just got way worse. Huh. Maki is gonna become the black and responsible for killing you. All because you protected me! Hmm. So don't you worry, Maki Ro. I'm not gonna die that easily. You can't say that, Kaito. Just leave it to me. I'll put an end to this killing game. Oh, dude, you're already dying anyway with your disease. <laughs> You're still full of energy, even like that. You really are not boring. That's almost like a compliment from him. See, I, I feel like even though there was this antagonism between them, this rivalry that was built up since early on, it's almost like Kokichi respects Kaito. He saw him as a true challenge, as his number one rival. I can see the ship now. <laughs> I had a feeling that the Kokichi Kaito thing would be a ship in itself. Um, other than like the canon ship of Maki Kaito, of course. I just feel sad that Shuichi's not involved more with this whole situation just because I feel like he would have been more of an important role. But no, Shuichi was not involved at all. <laughs> he just has to solve everything and be sad on his own. Poor Shuichi. What? <laughs> I want to see what a dying Kaito can do. So, show me what you've got. I won't meddle with your plans. Interesting. What are you? Don't mind me. Run, Maki, roll. Just hurry up and run. Run. And live. You gotta live. Aww. Am I? Did they both really die? I to give up. I don't know. I'm so confused. I tried to enter the hangar by breaking the control panel with my knife. Ah, all those uh, scratch cut marks on the panel. In the end, I couldn't. So that's where the marks on the control panel came from, huh? Hmm. After that, I returned to the bathroom window once more, but I didn't see anyone. The bathroom door was closed. I called out, but neither Kaito nor Kokichi answered. I couldn't do anything anymore. All I could do was leave. That's when I made up my mind. Okay. As the blackened who killed Kaito, I would kill Kokichi during this class trial. Yeah, but you would do it by killing everybody else. That's so messed up, Maki. In exchange for all of your lives. Ooh, it's horrible. So that's what happened. Then Kokichi, knowing what he knew, still helped Maki cover up her crime? Of course he would. And was that why you smushed Kaito in the hydraulic press? Ugh. Kaito wanted Maki to be spotless. As his friend, I felt obliged to help him. As his friend. Huh. Interesting. How dare you make fun of him! Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot, man. <laughs> you lucky you inside there if you really are. You call yourself a friend? You enjoyed watching us suffer! You fucking asshole! Ooh. Get him, girl. Get him! Ooh. Maki is so scary. Good thing I'm in this exosol. Pretty sure Maki would have already killed me if I was out there in the flesh. Yep. So, what are everyone's plans now? This is too soon for us to just be like, end of story, Maki killed Kaito. No, there's no way. With the truth out in the open, who are you guys going to vote for? You can vote for me, but if you do, we'll all die together. Yikes. Or vote for Maki, 
and live. Yeah, but I don't trust this still. I don't. Well, choose whichever you want. I don't care either way. Why? Why are you so calm? Your life depends on this too. Who cares? Just choose already. Come on, who are you gonna vote for? No, we can't vote yet. Yeah, let's keep talking, man. We don't have the whole truth. Yes. This case isn't over. Huh? <laughs> Thank you for telling us everything, Maki. Thanks to you, I finally understand. There's another hidden truth within your testimony. Nice. Let's go, Shuichi. Let's go, baby. Hidden truth? Yes, I'm positive. Because there's something wrong with a testimony you've given us. Yeah. Part of Maki's testimony that doesn't add up. Let's see. Uh, uh, I'm suspicious of that, but we don't have proof. I'm gonna say the control panel. That's it! Right? Maki said she used a knife to try to break the control panel and enter the hangar. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't make sense because there's an alarm system on the shutter. Yes, that would have gone off if she went close by, right? Oh yeah! The alarm should have gone off if someone got close to the shutter. I was too focused to notice at the time. But now that you mention it, it is odd. Yeah. Maybe the sensor just missed her. No, that means an electro bomb was used, right? There isn't that sloppy by Kokichi. If a shady person got near the shutter, the alarm would have gone off without question. And why didn't the alarm go off? Like I told you, this isn't over. There's still a hidden truth to find. We have to prove that Kokichi's not the mastermind. That's what I think we have to prove in this trial, right? That's right. There must be some kind of reason behind all these oddities. Finding that reason will help us find the hidden truth. And prove that a, hopefully our waifu is not a murderer. That would be too sad if she was the one who killed Kaito. Like, no. Uh, Electro Bomb. I did attempt to enter the hangar. And I tried to destroy the control panel with my knife. At the time, the alarm system didn't go off. But if you would approach the shutter, the alarm would have activated with 100% certainty. Maybe it was just broken. Mm. Perhaps it was turned to a special setting? Or maybe Maki is telling a lie. No. Did you really try to break the control panel? I'm not going to tell any more lies. I don't know which one to present it on, though. It seemed like the alarm system itself was working properly. So what can we learn from that? I did attempt to have activated Yes. That's wrong. Ugh, I was trying to get the V counter, but oh well. There is a way to disable the alarm system. An electro bomb would take it down. Alright. But Maki only had one bomb, and she used it during the raid this morning. Mm-hmm. Then the only other person who could have used one is Kokichi, right? Yes. Huh? But why? why would I use an electro bomb? I, I, I don't get that myself, except for the fact that he's not the mastermind. Let's see, an electro bomb's good for two hours. He had two, right? I had no reason to shut off the alarm, right? I'd be at a disadvantage if I did that. Unless he's saying he did that for a reason? Like to have Maki come closer? No, I don't know. When would he have done that, though? I guess so. I can't come up with a reason why Kokichi would want to cut the alarm. Hmm. But we know that the alarm system was neutralized. It had to be. But why? In that case, then... I've got it! Disabling the alarm system wasn't the real objective. Then what was it? What? The main objective of Kikichi using an electro bomb was. Well, he would have used it inside the hangar, right? 
I don't think he went out and used it on the outside like we did when we were coming in. If he used it inside, it would have to disable something else. Was there... Exosols were... No, he had the remote for the Exosol, so he didn't need... He didn't need the Electrobomb for that. I don't know what else the Electrobomb would affect. Uh, <gasps> oh! The safe. Oh! The safety function! It was to deactivate the safety function on the press. Oh my god, he did that so that he could kill Kaito? But why? If you're both dying from poison, what is the point? Except to confuse us, right? Like, who's the dead one? So then, this is all part of his plan. Hmm. But then the whole... The jacket thing... And the fact that Kokichi flushed his clothes down the toilet... Okay. Here's my thought right now. Let's say it was not an oopsie when they were drawing that scene with Maki looking into the bathroom and that the cap on that antidote really was in place like I said and that he actually did not drink the antidote because he wanted to give it to Kaito so he let Kaito live I mean he even complimented him and was saying oh let's see what a dying Kaito can do or something like like I feel like he wanted more from Kaito, and I just don't understand exactly what that is yet. And then he flushed his clothes, he put on Kaito's jacket, and then he told Kaito to kill him? But wait, then how did Kaito end up underneath it for that video? Hmm. I'm confused about that still. He said it wasn't edited. But then when they were talking to Monokuma and he was like, Yeah, right, Monokuma? Right, this wasn't doctored or whatever? Monokuma, like, hesitated. Something about the computers. Mmm. I still feel like... Yeah, I feel like this is a big conspiracy. And that maybe Kokichi and Kaito were working to confuse us? Or are they trying to screw over the mastermind? I, I don't know. <sighs> My brain is racing right now. Okay, let's just continue on. <laughs> let's let Shuichi sum it up much better than I can. Deactivate the safety function? I, I think I'm on the right track now. The Electrobomb wouldn't have just taken down the alarm system. Mm -hmm. It also would have disabled the hydraulic press's safety function. Like, to me, I don't understand the uh, Electrobomb 100% yet. Like, I don't know what things it would affect and what things it wouldn't. Like, to me, I hear Electrobomb, I think anything electrical would just shut off, like an EMP. But that doesn't seem to be the case. So I'm like, hmm, I don't know. That's true, but why would he do that? There's only one reason that anyone would want to do that. To be able to kill someone. But I'm right. It means that we've been thinking about this all wrong. Yeah, we thought somebody dead was there, but no. All wrong? What aspect of this case runs contrary to the new evidence? What piece of evidence is called into question? The cause of death. That's it! So now we're saying Kaito is Kaito's dead? Kaito's cause of death. So is Kaito dead, though? That's what I'm still not sure. I really don't think so, but I have a feeling maybe. And if that's the case, is he inside the robot? Is he doing what Kokichi told him to do and acting all crazy like, hey, I'm Kokichi? Like, why would Kaito do this? This doesn't seem like him, you know? What? If the electrobomb was used while Maki was trying to deliver the antidote, Maybe Kaito didn't die by poison. It could be something else entirely. Unless this was just like... Maybe Kaito agreed with Kohichi and said, 
or Kokichi gave him the idea and Kaito was like, yeah. Because Kaito would not want to make Maki a killer, right? He said he would do anything he could to prevent her from murdering someone, including Kokichi. So, maybe he said, you know what? Before this poison kills me, can you kill me, you know, another way? That's what it's seeming like right now, but I thought my idea was better, because <laughs> that would mean that Kokichi's dead. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, this is kind of sad in its own way, too, because it'd be like, damn, he would let Kokichi kill him just so that Maki wouldn't be a killer. Oh, that's so sad, though. Yes, the cause of death could now be... The frickin' uh, hydraulic press. This is it! The hydraulic press. Kaito could have been killed by the press after all. What? He could have? If the safety was off, the press could have crushed Kaito while he was still alive. Yeah. Oof. Right after I threw the antidote, I tried to open the shutter. So. Kaito should have still been alive. Aww. And if he was crushed by the hydraulic press after that, then we have our cause of death. Yeah. If that's the case, it means the one who killed Kaito wasn't Maki. But Kokichi. It would be whoever was operating the hydraulic press. Kokichi. Hmm. I see. Very impressive. The hydraulic press could have been the cause of death. I still feel like... I mean, this would be an ideal situation, right? It'd be like, sad because we lost Kaito, but it'd be like, okay, Kokichi did it, yay, let him get executed, end of story. But I just don't feel like that's what's happening. I thought my idea was right, y'all. That antidote, man, that cap on the antidote. <laughs> it's messing with me. Ah, uh, I don't know. But that's just a possibility. Hmm, he's messing with us, man. I don't know. What do you mean? It's possible that I killed Kaito with the press, but there's no way to know. Kaito's death could have been either the poison arrow or the hydraulic press. Yeah, we, we have no solid proof either way, right? Both causes are possible, but you'll never be able to determine it. Without an autopsy. No matter what. Hmm. No matter what? That's not true! We can probably solve this mystery too! Right, Shuichi? Mm mm. Damn. Is it really possible to determine Gaito's actual cause of death without an autopsy? Really hard, man. Ah. <sighs> I don't think so. Damn. I hate to admit it, but Kokichi is right. We have no way to prove the cause of death. What did you say? Ah, oh, shoot. You can't check the body, and you don't have any conclusive evidence. We need something new, otherwise we're stuck. You can't deduce any more from here on out. There's no way to know what happened. But you're not gonna say anything because you're a dick. <laughs> Even if you're not actually Kokichi, you're still probably Monokuma controlling this thing, so you're still a dick. <laughs> so that's what you were trying to do. You were trying to commit an unsolvable murder. Uh, that is a Kokichi move. <laughs> do you finally get it? Yep, that was my plan. The gimmick of this murder case isn't the unknown victim. But rather, the unknowable culprit! Ah, oh, shoot, man. This is brutal. No one understands but me. Only I know the answer. There's no more room for deduction here. Choose the culprit with your own intuition! He did say to Shuichi, I won't let you use your talent. I won't let you be the detective and solve the murders anymore. Oh, you disgusting. Ugh. <laughs> this is him. 
Uh, even if he's dead, guys. He did set all of this up. Oh, he's so bad. Oh, he, he just loves to twist the knife just a little deeper. <laughs> you piece of crap. Intuition. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Are you troubled? I'm sure robots don't have intuition, right? But there's nothing you can do about it. This is just how the trial goes. Gosh, is the possibility still there that they're both dead? Because I've been saying that for a while now. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm hoping that Kokichi's dead, but... If it's both, god, that would be so interesting. So, who is the culprit? Maki or me? Uh. The heart-racing excitement as the blackened and the spotless face-off! It's voting time! Monoku was like, back off, bitch! That's my line! <laughs> really? Monokuma didn't say anything? Oh my god, we gotta vote? Oh, so many dead people. It was Kibo. I... I don't know? I don't think Kaito... I don't think Kaito would have allowed Maki to become a murderer. He, there's no, yeah, I have a feeling he, he totally made Kokichi be the killer. Right? God, I hope I'm right. Hey, that's my there. <laughs> I'm the one who decides when it's voting time. Yay, Monokuma stopped our stupid vote, right? Oh, come on. No one's gonna figure out the truth. Let's just vote already. Phew. So that means that vote doesn't count, right? Right? This won't be a problem, right, Monokuma? Because you know who the culprit is, don't you? Just like you always do. Hmm. Huh? Oh. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, this kind of goes back to my theory about that Kaito and Kokichi are doing this together in the end and that Kokichi's dead. What if this is Kaito talking per Kokichi's instructions, okay? And I was like, oh, but Kaito wouldn't act like this. He's only doing it because Kokichi gave him instructions and they are trying to catch the mastermind, right? They have to be. And right now, this whole thing he just said, because at the time all of this was happening, Monokuma was being guarded by the Exosols. He was on lockdown, I am 100% sure, because the real mastermind was pretty much being forced to not do anything and to let everybody think that Kokichi was the mastermind. So this must be the one time where Monokuma and the real mastermind don't know who the real killer and who the real victim are. They are just as confused as we are. That is fascinating. Hmm. Hmm. I like it. If that's the case, I'm going to be like, okay, Kokichi, I don't like you, but I got to say, <laughs> that's pretty smart, man. Pretty smart. Uh, yes, uh, of course. There he goes with the sweat again. Hmm. Yeah. What kind of a reaction is that? Bruh, Kokichi. Getting one up on the, the freaking mastermind. That's pretty good. He's like, I'd, I'd rather go down fighting, fighting and screw over the mastermind. You know? The, the culprit, you say? Uh, yeah, yes, of course I know. Wow, Monokuma, you don't know how to lie at all. What happened, bro? <laughs> hmm? Why do you seem so flustered? Oh, snap, yo. Oh, snap, I like it. Flustered? Me? <laughs> what are you talking about? What's going on with Monokuma right now? Monokuma? Do you not know who the culprit is either? Yep. Huh? Oh, what do you mean I don't know? Uh, what don't I know, huh? Oh my god, this is huge. You don't know, do you? Mm. What does this mean? 
Why doesn't Monokuma know who the culprit is? If that's the case, then he shouldn't have held a stupid freaking trial. <laughs> like, bro, like, what are you doing? How can you possibly say if they're right or they're wrong? Monokuma doesn't know who the culprit is either. If Monokuma doesn't know, what does that tell us about this case? Wait, this case? Yes, that's it! So that's what Kokichi's real objective was. Here we go. Huh? What are you talking about? Kokichi wasn't just trying to commit a murder that we couldn't figure out. He was trying to commit a murder that Monokuma couldn't figure out either. <laughs> murder Monokuma couldn't figure out? Not bad. Not bad, man. But what's the point of that? Kokichi's the one who's controlling Monokuma. No, you guys, please figure it out by now. But consider how many elements of this case would be cleared up. Prior to this case, Monokuma always knew the specific details of each crime, correct? Yep. That must mean that he was using some way of monitoring us. Mm -hmm. Perhaps there are hidden cameras strategically placed to avoid our detection. Yep. I can't say for certain. We must be keeping watch somehow. Mm -hmm. Kokichi probably used the electro bomb to scramble whatever that was. Ah, nice. The electro bomb would prevent any cameras from sending video wirelessly. Nice. Which means it wouldn't matter where the surveillance cameras were hidden. Like I said, what's the point? Kokichi's the one who's controlling Monokuma. Before we determine that for sure. I want to make one thing clear. Here we go, yo. Let's talk about the mastermind again. If the objective were to create a crime that would stump Monokuma, the exorcist. Yes. The exorcists weren't protecting Monokuma. They were. Mm-hmm. They were watching him. That's it. Bullying him. <laughs> he will watch you, Monokuma. Watching him? Yep. Yes. Remember what Monokuma said earlier in the investigation? Oh, at the time the exiles were on autopilot and directed to only observe me. Yes. If they were protecting him like bodyguards, they wouldn't have been facing him. Mm hmm. They would have been scanning the area, watching us. Exactly. But they weren't. That implies that they weren't watching us. They were watching him. They were trying to make sure that Monokuma wouldn't go near the crime scene. That reminds me. Before I stole an Exosol, all four units were focused on Monokuma. That's why when I stole one to enter the hangar, the other three didn't pursue me. And why didn't you realize that that was fishy? Maki, I know you were focused on trying to save Kaito, but girl, that would have set off red flags for me. So Monokuma must have been talking about Maki. Let's see. Even if someone puts that at a disadvantage, the class trial must always be fair. The person who shared that info with me didn't seem interested in sharing it with you guys. Go share it and say that uh, we'll be fair. Okay. She didn't want to share that information because it would have linked her to the murder. In which case, it could only be Maki. You're right. Um, so to summarize this discussion, Kokichi used the electro bomb in the hangar and the exosols to watch Monokuma. Now come on guys, use your little brains. Would the mastermind ever do that? I think the answer is a frickin' obvious no! Thereby creating a scenario in which Monokuma has no idea who the culprit is? I told you there's no point! Kokichi's the one who's controlling Monokuma! No, Kokichi might not be controlling Monokuma at all. Finally he said it. <laughs> what? Kokichi's the mastermind, right? Shouldn't he be controlling Monokuma? Kokichi might not be the mastermind. Yes! What? Finally. Remember that the only reason we think that 
is because Kokichi told us. Mm. And what does Kokichi do? He lies. Monokuma hasn't said a word about that. It's possible that Kokichi is just lying to us. <laughs> no way I lied! Hmm, of course Monokuma would say that. <laughs> I'm definitely controlling Monokuma. The mastermind of the killing game is totally me. Uh-huh. The one who pitted humanity's last survivors against each other is... All me, baby. Remnant of despair. How did we forget that? But Maki, come on, girl. The way he talked to you back in the hangar, he had no idea what that was. But that doesn't necessarily mean that he's the mastermind. Um, well, I guess. But is that really possible? Well, Monokuma? Hmm. I can't answer that without causing problems. Because I gotta run this trial fair and square. Even more reason to give us the answer. <laughs> if you don't tell us the truth right now, you'll be an accomplice to Kokichi's lies. Ooh, nice. Does that sound like a fair game? Would you say this class trial is fair? Yes. Yeah, tell us. Is Kokichi the real mastermind or not? No need to think about it. You're being way too forward. Aren't you normally the forward one? Oh, Monica was like, fuck this. <laughs> He's like, damn it, Kokichi. You ruined everything. I'm not going to let you have your way anymore. Ugh. I mean, I don't mind, because that's probably part of your strategy, too. But in the interest of fairness, I suppose it's time to tell the truth. <laughs> Unlike the lies you love so much, the truth should be impartial to everyone. Interesting. Ooh. And what is that truth? I'm not being controlled by Kokichi, because he is not the mastermind. Finally! <laughs> yes! What? Is that really true? Kokichi was just messing with you. I never once said he was the mastermind. Which means we get a chapter six, bitches! Just like always! <laughs> then it was all Kokichi's lie? Breaking with tradition? I think not! Yeah, that is what that would mean. Yes, that was Kokichi's lie! <laughs> One of many. With the key from the last motive, he was the first to learn the truth of the outside world. Yep. Based on his deductions, he fabricated a lie to make you all think he was the mastermind. Because he's a piece of garbage. <laughs> I see. Kokichi's own deductions. He was pretty smart, though. You gotta give him credit for that. Do you want to know? Then I'll tell you. A lie. <laughs> I'm getting kind of bored with all the lying. Except for this one last lie. So everything I say now will be the truth, okay? His deductions got a lot of details right, though. Pretty impressive, honestly. Hmm. But what about the Exosol? If Kokichi wasn't the mastermind, how would he control them so easily? The question is, how did he get the remote? He just used Mew's remote control, right? She made that? Mew's remote control. So the remote that Kokichi was using was made by Mew? Damn, that girl was useful. Too bad she's gone, but she did a lot. You gotta say, out of everybody in this whole game, other than like Shuichi figuring stuff out, that Mew has been the most useful person contributed the most to everybody and then second actually i would say maybe kibo but that's only because of me like helping him you know what i mean like with the lights and and when he recorded um kokichi's voice and then i guess you would say kokichi himself has been really useful so that's interesting oh you didn't know Mew not only invented the Electro Bomb and the Electro Hammer, 
She also made a remote control that can hijack any electronic device. Wow. Damn, girl. Why didn't you do that before all the BS went down? <laughs> oh, man. If only she had done that sooner and we had just fought back earlier. Kokichi just slapped a receiver on each of the exosoles and took them for a spin. Huh. Hey, isn't it a bit unfair to tell them all that? Fairness has nothing to do with it. I offered up that info purely out of spite. Spite towards you for trying to usurp the mastermind's role and take over the game. <laughs> He's salty. Well, whatever. It's way more interesting to defeat an enemy who plays dirty anyway. What's going on? It seems like they're actually fighting. Yeah. There's no doubt about it. Kokichi isn't the mastermind. Are we just being dragged around by Kokichi's lies the whole time? Yes, including the one where he pretended to have a crush on you, girl. <laughs> I'm still, like, annoyed by that, but whatever. What were you trying to accomplish by pretending to be the mastermind, Kokichi? <laughs> now you're gonna be all quiet? This is so frustrating. Then if he's not the mastermind, who is? <laughs> that will be revealed in the next chapter. Although I, I, I freaking know who it is already. Like, come on, it's so obvious. Ugh. Why are you so certain there's even a mastermind to begin with? Because that's how these things roll. What? What do you mean? Why, that's on a need-to-know basis, and you don't need to know! Mm -hmm. But I wanna know! The real mastermind is not Kokichi. Who could it be? I was thinking it was Junko and Oshima. Gosh dang it, if Junko came back from the dead one more time! <laughs> I think we would all be like, throwing our hands in the air like, Oh my lord, no more! That can't be it. That bitch better be dead. She's dead. You've never come into contact with her. If so, who's done this? Who planned this killing game? Anyway, this conversation has flown off the rails. Let's get things back on track. Okay. This last trial is to figure out who the culprit is, not the mastermind. No, nope, not yet. So, yeah. Get to talking! I agree. Before we worry about who the mastermind is or what my intent is, let's figure out the culprit! Hmm. We still need new information, but I think knowing that Kokichi isn't the mastermind will help us think about things a little differently now. But Monokuma doesn't know who it is. How is he supposed to confirm the results? We don't need to worry about that. Let's just leave the decision-making to Monokuma. But... You gotta run the class trial, too. So no mistakes, okay? Are you trying to get me to do something? Hmm. You've been watching us solve all these cases. But you can't be a spectator anymore. You're gonna participate in the class trial from here on out. Ooh. Really? Huh? So, let's resume this class trial. Monokuma? You gotta use your brain, too. Well, I guess Monokuma would have some information to share. Almost as if he's, like, a student. <laughs> this will be the final class trial! Me versus Monokuma! Wow. You versus Monokuma? Ooh, the music, too. When I play a game, I intend to Gosh, this music. This feels like the lie music, right? I think it is the line music. But what's considered winning in this game? Beating the other players? No. Beating the game's mastermind is the true victory. And that's how I'll win! That's why I decided to challenge Monokuma! Huh, this does sound like Kokichi. So if it's not Monokuma talking for this person, for this Exosol, then that means somebody is in there. And all I can think is that it actually is Kaito in there. But man, he's really good at pretending to be Kokichi. 
If I can deceive Monokuma till the very end, then I'll be the winner! You're dragging us around like this? Just so you can win a game? As I suspected, your thought process defies all logic. Mm. But since the outside world is in total ruin, this game is the only entertainment we have. At least I can enjoy this game to the fullest and feel good winning. Gosh. You really are a remnant of despair. Your way of thinking is just chaotic. Yep. See, he seems confused with that. Eh, whatevs. Let's just get this started. So is that really Tokichi then? <sighs> I don't know. If the students or Monokuma don't know who the culprit is, then I'm the winner. Don't underestimate me, or Shuichi and the others, for that matter. Hmm. What? <laughs> it's just like a remnant of despair to try to assume control of the game. Well, that's weird. Why would Monokuma even say that? Almost as if... The mastermind of Monokuma is not a remnant of despair? Ooh. Interesting. Huh. But these kids are all that's left of Hope's Peak Academy. If you think they're gonna make this easy for you, you better think again! Why are you... talking like that? That's weird. What the hell? That's weird, you guys. Oh, like, since when does Monokuma, like, like, oh, yeah, Shuichi and the others are so smart. They're so cool. What the frick? Whose side are you taking here? Side? Isn't it obvious? Monokuma joins your party! Wow, what the frick is going on? <laughs> Monokuma, ultimate despair headmaster. Who invited you? What the hell? That's so funny. Now, let's join forces and unravel the truth behind this case. Well, we were going to do it anyway. Let's just ignore Monokuma. His actions are always beyond comprehension. <laughs> on the case! Hey, be quiet so we can ignore you. <laughs> now, where should we start? We've already established what Kokichi is after. Mm -hmm. He's just gonna keep talking anyway, isn't he? Yep. In my experience, whenever you learn a new fact, you learn something else along with it. Yes. Yes, let's look for that. You warmed up to him real fast. I guess you are both robots. <laughs> Girl. So, another truth comes out. That piece of evidence makes more sense now. The evidence that I couldn't wrap my head around. Um... There's so many things. I'm really not sure. The only thing that we really haven't discussed. I'm gonna say the murder video, guys. This is it! Yes! Okay. Let's discuss the video of Kaito being crushed by the hydraulic press. Okay. Oof. Kokichi said that he filmed that video to prove he was not the victim. Right. But we know that Kokichi was trying to mislead Monokuma. So what about the video? Mm-hmm. It's pretty strange to present evidence that condemns you after all. Yeah. Then what kind of mistake was Kokichi trying to get me to make? 
Maybe he crushed Kaito with a hydraulic press, so the cause of death would be unknown? Yeah. But if that were the only objective, there would be no need to film it. Right. Discovering the crushed body would have been enough. No need to show us the film. No, that was just to mislead you into thinking it was Kaito who died. That's true! I guess you're starting to fit in after all. If you get any cuter, I'm gonna hug you. No, girl, do not forget, he is our enemy. Huh? Really? There must be a reason you went out of your way to show us the body being crushed. No reason, really. That's just my twisted personality. <laughs> You're lying again, Kokichi. There's a method to your madness. If you wanted Monokuma to make a mistake in showing us the video, it must have something to do with trying to fool Monokuma. Taking the video of the murder, but keeping the victim's identity hidden. What does it show? What doesn't it show? Uh, what? Uh, I saw victim. We don't know who the victim is, you guys. Like, really. Possible. Yes, we have faith again. It's not Kaito. He's not dead, y'all. No, that's a question for later. For now, we know that. If you show the moment of Kaito's death, of course it would lead us to believe he died. Mm -hmm. Even if we can't positively identify the body, we would still believe Kaito was the victim. Yep. Exactly the mistake Kokichi was going for. Does that mean the victims were switched? Yes. Switched? So, okay. Um, does that mean that my initial assumption before I came into this trial is kind of right? Except the whole, like, Maki thing threw me off. Um, but we, I was kind of right a little bit about her. But I didn't know that she... She only was there at the beginning of the whole situation. She didn't know the end result. Um, but yeah, I, I really think Kokichi's dead. And Kaito's alive. And he must be inside the Exosol, right? Uh, but that means he killed Kokichi. And we're still gonna lose him. Uh, that makes me sad. Ugh. Man, this is not going to be a happy situation. Even though I'm like, yay, Kokichi's dead. But at the same time, I'm like, well, Kokichi did kind of help us screw over the mastermind a little. <laughs> uh, and he did save Kaito temporarily for a while. Then it was some other dead body that got crushed by the hydraulic press? Unless they're both alive. Actually, that shouldn't be possible, right? There was, there was only enough antidote for one person. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Uh, I wish they could have pulled uh, from the first game. Like, they have a random um, dead body from one of the people who died already. There should be plenty to choose from if you reuse the body of a former victim. See? <laughs> They're kind of making fun of that happening. If there wasn't any body, then we could guess the victim was switched. <laughs> but too bad! Switching the victims was impossible! Why? The footage showed the body being crushed. Unless he rolled out of the way in time and just left his jacket there? When in the footage would they have been able to switch the victim? No, but then all the blood. I mean, it would have to be a really smooth editing job. Like, for him to get out of there right before it finished closing, and then Kokichi goes inside. Like, wow. I'm trying to see, like, is there any differences in the actual image? 
And we already established that the footage was not doctored in any way. I don't trust you on that. The camera doesn't have any editing functions. Just play, record, and pause. Monokuma also said that no computer was used to edit the footage. No, Remember? he said no computer in the academy. Damn it! Me and my big mouth! Which means switching out the victim would not be possible. Also, if the victim was switched, then that would mean Kaito is still alive. And you are Kaito, right? Right? <laughs> oh, please be Kaito. We already discussed this so many times. The chance of that happening is impossible. It might be possible. Yes. Huh? There could be a trick to make the switch possible. We just haven't noticed it yet. Yes. Oh, and what trick is that? Hmm. See, you don't know, do you? I already said it's impossible. Maki's not wrong. There is a way it could be done. Okay. So we can't just give up here. Yes, let's not give up. I'm just trying to think, other than editing and all of that, how is it possible? Unless they like... I don't know. Hey, Shuichi. I'll think harder about this as well. Okay, you're finally gonna cooperate with me. I appreciate that, Maki. Let's work together, babe. So, can you confirm whether or not the victim switched places? If Kaito is alive or not? Oh, she's like, I I don't want to get my hopes up, but I'm feeling just a little bit of hope. Maki. Oh. I don't like the thought that I killed Kaito. Oh. I don't. Want that. Oh, she's crying! Maki, baby, no! Shuji's like, boyfriend mode activate. Must make my girlfriend happy again. No more tears. Okay, then. Let's talk about the possibility that Maki will mention. Girl, she gonna beat you up for saying that. <laughs> Kimiko, if you call her that again... Yes, please. Aww. Maybe she's happy just to hear it because she's thinking that Kaito's alive, you know? Oh, uh... Okay. Now let's all tuck it over together. Together. Don't forget, you're not alone. Aww. Don't try to do everything yourself. It's only gonna wear you out. When times are hard, you gotta rely on your friends. Oh, Kaito. I'm so sad yeah, thinking you're gonna be I'm dead. Sure we'll figure something out. If you're not dead already, then you're definitely gonna be dead, and that really breaks my heart. Jeez, you guys are a stubborn bunch. There's no trick. That's probably another lie. <laughs> However, if the victims were switched, then that would mean the footage was altered. Yes. How could it have been altered when we know that the footage wasn't edited? Wasn't edited. Was altered? If we could figure that out, maybe we'd know how they switched places. I knew there was a trick to that video the whole time! Uh-huh. Hokichi made it, so it's 100% suspicious. <laughs> a trick to that video. I think the angle of the video is surprising and suspicious enough, right? You see how high up it is? What could it be? What's suspicious about it? Isn't it like right next to where the switch would be? the control panel for that thing. Can I lie here? Ugh. You know what? I don't think I have to lie, so I'm not gonna worry about it. <laughs> must be some trick to that video. That's what you all gotta figure out! There is no trick. You can check, but there's no editing function in that camera. The placement of that camera seem suspicious to any of you? The filming angle seemed unnatural, don't you think? Yes, the angle. The person in that video. Was it really Kaito? Something seemed off about that video to me. When the hydraulic press stopped for a brief moment. Could it be? It stopped, yes. That the video was shot at another location? No. Any other bright ideas? Come on, everybody, speak up! 
feel like someone said something that gives us a clue. I mean, the angle thing, I definitely agree, made me think of something. But the fact that the video did, like, the press did stop at one point, right? Before it went down. There was, like, a little hesitation. If we put our heads, heads together, we can find a hope. We won't fall into despair. So maybe it's the press itself? Yes. There. Okay. So I was right. It, it was, I, if it didn't work with him, I was gonna go with what she said too. Kibo is on to something. Isn't it weird that the hydraulic press stopped for a second? Yay. Because when Kibo and I first investigated that hydraulic press. It didn't stop at all. Yeah, it was smooth. Yes, that's right. The hydraulic press kept lowering itself without stopping. Mm -hmm. But in the video... There. Yep. I saw that. The hydraulic press stopped briefly? Right before it crushed the body? And it was probably right then when they switched bodies. But why would it stop? And because of the camera angle, which is why I was kind of leaning towards what this movie said, we couldn't see past that point. Like, we couldn't see the body anymore. Why did the press stop? There's only one reason I can think of. Mine, mine. Okay. I forgot how to play this for a sec. <laughs> uh, it's been a while. Gosh, I don't know. What's this? Can't see. But I did get that uh, thing so it won't penalize me for hitting certain things anymore. One more. Ah. Come on. Yeah. I see it. But yay, no more time penalty. Good thing I got that perk. The only way to stop the hydraulic press is the force stop button. And that's where whoever was filming did it, right? But then how would they have switched fast enough? Hmm. An electro bomb went off in the hangar, which would have interfered with the safety function. There'd be no way to stop the hydraulic press unless someone used the force stop button. Right. When you say someone, you mean Kokichi, right? He was the only one there. Yeah. Interesting. Hmm. Actually, maybe I pressed it by accident. I don't really remember. Uh-huh, sure. So what of it? The press only stopped for like a sec. You can't switch the victim in such a short time, can you? But you edited the video and, and combined it with one of you squishing Kokichi, right? That's true. There's no way this video was not edited. There's also the question of how the bodies got switched while the camera was rolling. That would have clearly been caught on camera. Yeah. While the camera was rolling. Oh, I see. It wasn't just the press that stopped. Yeah. I mean, all you had to do was press stop on the recording, and then you press record as soon as Kokichi's body's in there, right? And automatically, I guess it splices together like that? It was really seamless, though. Huh? Huh? What do you mean? If you stop something else at the same time you stop the hydraulic press... Oh, uh, you don't even need to press stop. Like, I think video cameras had, like, a pause. So it was much more smooth of a transition rather than a stop. Yes, I see it now. That's how the bodies were switched. If you stopped that, you could have swapped the bodies easily. Again? Oh my god. Milk and everything, dragging it out. There. Stop the video camera at 
the same time as the hydraulic press. Yep. Then, while the camera was off, they switched the body under the hydraulic press. God, I can't imagine. Like, I know he was probably already dying from the poison. But that's awful to just agree, yeah, you can smash my body. Ugh. I, I, I don't think he would have felt pain because it would have been instant death, but Jesus, I can't imagine. Ooh. But uh, Kokichi was determined to screw over the mastermind. After the body was swapped, the press and the camera were started simultaneously. So it just looks like the press stopped for a moment. did seem odd to me. Yes, you did say that. But now I get it. The trick wouldn't work unless it was set up there. Yep. Huh? Why? To get the trick we just described to work, the camera had to be set up precisely. Mm-hmm. Let's pin that down. Where was the camera set up? Uh, okay, this angle's really weird, but it would have to be here. Must have been set up somewhere around here. To operate the press and the camera at the same time, it would have to be near the switch. Yep. That's why the video was taken from that unnatural angle. But now I'm wondering the blood? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hmm. The drag blood mark. From the bathroom to the press. What was that then? Was that Kaito having to drag Kokichi over there? No, but he was standing up there recording, right? So then what the hell? What's with the drag mark? Unless they dragged or Kaito somehow dragged something through this blood here? to the bathroom to make it look like it was the opposite way? I'm really confused. If they were recording it like normal, they would have used a better angle. Hmm. And if it was recorded at such an odd angle, then that proves the trick was used. Camera ink, huh? Looks like your cosplayer experience is finally useful. <laughs> Jeez. Cosplay doesn't really come up all that much in class trials. Yeah. There was a reason the camera was set up there, but also a reason for the height. We couldn't see. When the press was stopped, you couldn't really see who was inside. It. Yep. That was intentional. The body is mostly hidden by the press, making the swap easier. The camera must have been placed at such a high position so it would produce that angle. I wonder if they used that tripod in the hangar to adjust the camera's height. Did they get that from the warehouse too? Jeez, that place is like a 4D pocket. <laughs> you don't get to make that reference. Then, that logic is correct, right? Kokichi used that video angle trick and switch the victim in the hydraulic press. Yes, so that means you did not even kill Kokichi. He died right there. In that case, Kaito is... Before he was crushed by the press, he was swapped with a different body. So Kaito's still alive! Yep. Well, wait just a minute. Uh-oh. What? But I just summed it up so nicely. <laughs> Let her have her happy moment, Chuichi. You get all the glory all the time, man. <laughs> oh, no. But he knows what this means. Uh, this means Kaito murdered Kokichi. And they were working together. Himiko, the different body you mentioned. What are you talking about? The bodies from the other cases. Okichi's the mastermind, so he... 
girl. He's not the mastermind. We already discussed this. I was proud of you a second ago. What happened? <laughs> Your brain. Wait, the mastermind? Yeah, Kokichi isn't the mastermind, so I don't think he'd be able to produce a body to switch out. Yep. What? Yep. Well, Monokuma, do the rules allow for a body to be reused? Very well. I'll answer that. You're giving in pretty easily. Hmm. Because he wants revenge against Kokichi, even though he's dead. <laughs> well, it's crucial information to make the trial fair. Dude, Gokichi's freaking dead. I can't believe it. Ah, I'm. It's a good case, a really good case, but I'm so sad about uh, a lot of things. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe a part of me is a little disappointed I didn't hang out with him after all. <laughs> like. I wanted to be the reason you died, Kokichi. I wanted to hang out with you in this chapter and get you killed because of my karma, okay? Because everybody I hung out with died. So, yeah, I'm a little disappointed. But you know what? I should just be happy because you're gone <laughs> and I don't have to do your stupid voice anymore. Ugh, but why'd you have to take Kaito with you, man? Why couldn't you just die in your own... Like, go crawl in a corner and just die that way and not have Kaito kill you. Like, ugh, that sucks, man. Kokichi, I will never forgive you for this. <laughs> never. This discussion is pointless if it's not clear what the culprit was allowed to do, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're a convenient mastermind, but I guess that makes defeating you worth my time. Now then, regarding the reuse of a dead body. That is impossible! All the dead bodies have already been thrown away. Jeez. Thrown away? Ugh. The other bodies are gone? Then who did Kaito switch places with? Yo, it should be freaking obvious by now. <laughs> uh Kokichi and Kaito were the only ones in the hangar at the time. If they were the only ones present during the body swapping trick, then the real victim was the other person in the hangar. Son, interesting how I didn't just say his name. Like, come on now. <laughs> if it wasn't an old body, it could only be. What's wrong, Shuichi? Who did Kaido switch places with? Why are we dragging this out? Maki, I think I missed something very important here. I mean, dude, you said it in the beginning. You were like, oh, I think Kukichi's dead because that means Kaito has to be alive. Something important? If I have the timeline right, there were only two people in the hangar at the time. I think this is him realizing, oh shit, Kaito killed him. Oh shit, Kaito is still alive. Oh shit, he's gonna get executed for killing him. Yeah. Yeah, Shuichi. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Which means that something had to have been decided before. Yep, this was an agreement. I have to pin that down. Can't let anything escape me this time. Again? What are we? Are we doing victim again? Victim again? Why? Give me a T. Victim identity? Nope. Victim. Victim... what? Victim... Victim helped? Is that what we're saying?
Oh. I was really confused there, but okay. Wait, we're wait. I can't believe I overlooked this. Yes, they were working together, dude. Okay. <laughs> I, I already figured that out, so I was like, wait, what is he trying to figure out? I hate being like two steps ahead of him. What do you mean? There were only two people in the hangar at the time the bodies were swapped. Which means we were working together. Yes. Huh? Working together? The only two people involved in the swap were the victim and the culprit. Yep. The culprit was operating the camera and the hydraulic press while the victim lay inside. If they switched places while the press and the camera were stopped. Mm -hmm. Then the person who turned the camera and the press back on was the original victim. Yep. To put it simply, both people operated the press and camera at different times. An impossible trick, unless the victim and culprit agreed to cooperate beforehand. It's just shocking. Them two working together? Culprit cooperated? Is that even possible? Yep. It sounds bizarre, but perhaps that was the whole point. Yeah, all I could think is that he told Kaito, we're gonna screw over the mastermind, and this way Maki did not kill either of us, you know? And he must have given him the antidote, like I said earlier. Commit a crime that was so confusing, even Monokuma would be tricked. Jeez, this culprit's a real jerk! <laughs> So, have you realized who done it yet? Who else would it be, dude? Yep, come on. I know it's hard. The culprit of the case. If my detective work hasn't failed me, the culprit is inside that exosol this whole time. Seeing everything we were going through. Oh my god. Kaito, how could you? <laughs> I know you have your reasons, but this sucks, man. You were watching the rest of us suffer. Ugh. But I think he had faith that Shuichi would figure it out in the end. You know? Now, he's been quiet. It can only be them. It can only be my hospando. Not having him beside me this whole trial is really sad, actually. The apparent victim we saw in the video was Kaito. Which means... Kokichi was operating the hydraulic press and camera at first. If the two of them switched while the press was stopped... Uh. Then the culprit who started the hydraulic press again and crushed Kokichi... Must be Kaito. Ugh. Maki knows it, but she's probably like really upset right now. <laughs> oh, Maki, I know, girl. I know. This sucks. So, the person inside that exosome isn't Kokichi. It has to be Kaito. What did you say? Mm hmm. So, the culprit for this case is. Kaito Momota. That is what the ultimate detective has deduced, right? Oh, I feel like we're sending him, we're sending him to the guillotine, you know? Oh, this is horrible. Oh, I hate this so much. I love it, but I hate it. You know what I mean? Oh, it's such good writing, but it's so sad. Oh, why couldn't my OT3 have a happy ending? God. I thought for sure... I said, if he's gonna die in this game, it's gonna be from the disease. But no! No! You're gonna freaking execute him! No! Kaito is the culprit? What? You're joking, right? You can't be serious! Girl, you know he would not joke about this. I don't want to believe it either. But it's the only way any of this makes sense. My detective work has led me to the conclusion. That Kaito is the culprit. Uh Is that true? Is Kaito really in there? 
Oh my god. Hey, answer us! If you really are Kaito, then I'm the culprit. Maki, no! <laughs> oh, she doesn't want to accept this. No, oh no. Is our uh, argument whatever going to be against her? No, oh no, she's so upset. Because last chapter we were against Kaito instead of Gonta. Oh, Maki, oh, such a waifu. Oh, she's like, I'd rather die. Oh, oh I, I feel this. Oh, I feel this already. My heart. <laughs> no. Huh? There's just no way that Kaito can still be alive. Because I'm the culprit. Wait, you? But didn't you say- I saw it with my own eyes. Kokichi drank the antidote that he stole from Kaito. Mm. No, he faked. The cap was still freaking on, okay? <laughs> I saw it immediately. There's no doubt Kaito died. And he died because of my poison arrow. Oh. But you told us you didn't want to kill Kaito. Yes, I never wanted to. I wanted to believe that I didn't kill him. But the truth speaks differently. In the end, I was just running away from the facts. No, the truth is that you would rather him be dead than be the killer. Uh, I don't understand. Lucky, are you trying to protect Kaito? No, the music. Ah, uh, of course, of course she is. She doesn't want him to. Ah, uh, Lucky. Shuichi loves him too, but he knows Kaito would not want them all to die. Oh, this is so sad. Oh, I'm gonna freaking cry. Oh, no. During the freaking... Oh, I'm dreading after the trial. The goodbye and then him being executed. I just... Oh, God. Just thinking about it. I, I don't... I don't wanna. I don't wanna. <laughs> Kaede was bad enough, yo. And Gonta, like... Oh... He's the culprit. You're trying to help him get away. There was only one antidote. So it's more likely he died from my poison arrow. This is the truth. It's not decided yet. I could have still killed him with the hydraulic press. Either way, those are the two options. Monokuma knows the answer, right? Huh? Are those the only options? I guess that's how things turned out. No. No, that can't be. The person in that exosol is... It's not Kaito. I saw Kokichi drink the antidote. Did you really, though? There's no mistake. Kaito is dead. I... killed Kaito. There is absolutely no doubt. That's... the truth. Oh, God. If the next thing she says is, please, Shuichi, I will die. Ugh. Like, she was seriously gonna start begging him. Please do not reveal the truth. But Maki, you know... If we did that, we would all die and Kaito would be so heartbroken. Ah, oh, I thought so. Maki is trying to protect Kaito. No matter what the cost. I understand how she feels, but if Kaito is the culprit, why did he agree to Kokichi's plan? I can't imagine that Kaito would do something so selfish. No, he's not being selfish. There must be a reason for it. I truly believe that. That I have to get to the bottom of this before I can uncover that truth. <sighs> you have to be strong, man. Because that's what Kaito would want you to do. But Maki, 
You don't know for certain that Kokichi drank the antidote. What? You saw him drink it right in front of you, but you couldn't confirm he actually did it. So maybe there's another possibility. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? Oh boy, she looks mentally not well. Impossible. That's impossible. Here we go. <laughs> the struggle. <laughs> oh, y'all know I struggle with this part. There is no other possibility. Oh, snap. I killed Kaito. Oh, snap. Don't hurt me. Uh-oh. Ooh, she looks cool. I killed Kaito. You're the one who's wrong. He died from my poison arrow. There's no other Whoa, possibility. What, what do you know? What the frick? I killed Kaito! Ooh. You're the one who's wrong. He died from my poison arrow. There's no other possibility. What do you know? Doesn't matter what you say. I'm telling you, this is the truth. But you keep getting in the way. You're so goddamn annoying. It doesn't matter what you say. I'm telling you, this is the truth. I was at the scene. So I know I'm not wrong. I'm sorry I kept quiet till now. I wanted to believe I didn't kill him. But I won't run away from the truth anymore. Because I know See? what I saw. I was at the scene. So I know I'm not wrong. I'm sorry I kept quiet till now. I wanted to believe I didn't kill him. But I won't run away from the truth anymore. Hard to see. I was at the scene. So I know I'm not wrong. I'm sorry I kept quiet till now. I wanted to believe I didn't kill him. All right. What is it? I saw Kokichi drink Pretended the antidote. to drink the antidote. It ends here. Whew, that was harder for me today. Oh, Maki. Oh! <gasps> Kokichi just pretended to drink the antidote. He didn't actually drink it. We don't have proof of this, do we? <laughs> he pretended to drink it? Yep. Drinking the antidote was part of his lie. <laughs> it's a lie again! <laughs> oh, you piece of shit, Kokichi. <laughs> uh. Maki could only see so much through the window. She didn't confirm Kokichi drank it. Yep. I believe that Kokichi knew this and just pretended to drink the antidote. After Maki left, he gave the antidote to Kaito. There's a strong possibility that all of this was done to make Kaito cooperate. Mm -hmm. Make him cooperate? Yeah, that makes sense. He's gonna say... If you don't help me with my plan to screw over the mastermind, then I'm gonna die, and she would have been the one who who would have killed me. The swapping trick required the victim and culprit to work together. Yeah, because all of this didn't feel like something Kaito would do. You know what I mean? Like his personality. As much as I said, yeah, he wants to protect Maki and screw over the mastermind, all of the manipulativeness and being, pretending to be Kokichi, like, that is not Kaito's personality at all. But he's doing this to protect Maki. Kaito's cooperation was essential to Kokichi's plan. However, I don't think Kokichi would be able to sway Kaito easily. He needed leverage. He gave Kaito the antidote in exchange for his cooperation. 
In exchange for his own life, you know. Kaito had no choice. He had to cooperate after Kokichi saved his life. Mm -hmm. That's just Kaito's character. And Kokichi knew that. He swallowed his pride for the antidote and agreed to participate in Kokichi's plan. Didn't Kokichi make this plan? What good is it for him if he's dead? I imagine this was all part of Kokichi's plan to confuse us. You wouldn't think that someone would plan their own murder. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, getting some uh, <laughs> flashback to a certain other character. <laughs> oh man, they had a lot of light, didn't they? He went so far as to give up his life just to create this mystery? And also, the, I'm sure he's also, uh, he knew what was outside, and he's like, why am I gonna bother? You know, that whole despair thing of why bother surviving? Nobody there liked him, you know? And he really wanted to screw over the mastermind, so. Only Kokichi could think of something so nefarious. Who else would agree to die just to execute their plan? Yep. Why would he go that far? I bet Kokichi was determined to beat me at my own game, no matter what! Yep. But too bad! Shuichi figured out the truth! Truth? Are you sure it's not delusion? Oh, now you're talking, Kaito? Kaito was like, shoot, what should I say? <laughs> delusion? A delusion completely off the mark. To make you think that I died. But who cares what you guys think? This is between me and Monokuma. I'm, I gotta say, Kaito's doing an excellent acting job, though. You must know Kokichi pretty well. I don't give a crap if the extras in this game get it right or not. Extras? <laughs> I'm fine with being an extra. <laughs> Imiko, please. Huh? Why? If we're just extras, then even if we get it wrong, we won't get killed. No, I'd still kill you all. <laughs> don't put Kokichi's words in my mouth. <laughs> Please. But why? You are being so friendly with us! Girl, please. If Monokuma gets it right, then he takes everyone's lives, yeah? But if Monokuma gets it wrong, then he'd have no right to take everyone's lives. If Monokuma doesn't know who the culprit is, then this killing game can't function. Can't function anymore. Hmm. Kaito, I believe in you. Oh, oh no! <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, after this, I'm totally gonna go cry in a corner for an hour. Mm -hmm. If you're cooperating with this plan, you must have a reason. To determine that reason, I need to reveal the truth. I still think Kaito is the culprit. Thinking of it that way makes all the pieces fit. I will show you the truth. The truth you can't deny. Oh, here we go. Okay, after receiving the Himiko from, uh, item from Himiko, the culprit. How was Kukichi dragged? Oh, he did drag him to leave the... Okay, so he dragged him to leave the trail. I see. Jeez. Kokichi's right arm. First thing. Man, Kokichi suffered. <laughs> Not that he didn't deserve it. Alright. This is the truth of the case. Let's go over the trick that Kokichi and the culprit created together. Yep. Last night. Kibo saw Himiko from the window of his lab. She was carrying a black case and heading to the Exosol hangar. When she reached the hangar, she handed the case to someone through the bathroom window. Yep. That someone is the culprit of this case. Locked in the bathroom, the culprit had asked Himiko to bring them a certain weapon. Disassembled crossbow from Maki's lab. The 
culprit was going to use the crossbow to challenge Kokichi to a fight. I still don't know why Kaito decided to do that, but whatever, man. <laughs> uh, we were coming to rescue you, man. Some time passed, and Maki made her way to the hangar. She was going to the hangar to kill Kokichi and save the culprit trapped in the bathroom. See, a lot of this could have been prevented if y'all had just been more patient. <laughs> we could have come in, saved the day, nobody had to freaking die, you know? <sighs> Fools. However, the hangar had an electric barrier preventing her from entering. Fortunately for her, she had an electro hammer to get around the barrier, in a way. She used her electro hammer to disable an exosol and climbed inside. Pretty cool though. She knew exosols could bypass the barrier, so she got inside one. Around that time, the culprit and Kokichi began their confrontation. Look at his face. He's like, <laughs> you're not going to shoot me, Kaito. While Kokichi was checking up on them, the culprit ambushed him with a crossbow. And then he was like, holy shit, you actually are going to shoot me. <laughs> but the culprit didn't intend to kill Kokichi. They just wanted to disable him. That's why the culprit aimed for Kokichi's right arm. Yikes. If they really wanted to kill him, they would have shot him in his vitals. A lot of good that did, Kokichi though. Kokichi reeled from the arrow, and the culprit jumped on him immediately. He didn't want Kokichi to have the chance to summon an exosol with a remote. While they were fighting, something happened that caught them both off guard. Mm -hmm. The shutter of the hangar opened, and an exosol stepped inside. Kokichi was definitely not expecting an exosol to interrupt them. He pulled out his remote in an attempt to control the exosol. But Maki leaped out of the cockpit and shot Kokichi with a crossbow. That's so cool. Ooh. The arrow hit Kokichi right in the back, and it was no normal arrow. Yikes. I mean, only a husband and wife would have the same... <laughs> they picked the same weapon, too. She got other weapons, but no. She's like, I want to use the same thing my husband was using. The tip was covered in a lethal poison from my lab called Strike 9 Poison. The poison kills slowly. It seems as if Maki wanted Kokichi to confess before he died. But even with poison in his veins, Kokichi continued to spin his lies. When she had had enough, Maki tried to finish him off with another poisoned arrow. But this time, Maki was the one caught by surprise. Yep. To keep Maki from becoming the Blacken, the culprit used their body to shield Kokichi. The culprit's left arm was struck by a poison arrow. Maki remembered that there was an antidote in my lap and immediately ran off to get it. Mm. The strike nine poison slowly circulated through their systems and would soon kill them both. But in that desperate situation, Kokichi thought up a clever lie. Mm -hmm. He incorporated this unforeseen event into his plan to help him win the killing game. Yep, only he could think that quickly. <laughs> or should I say, help him defeat Monokuma. That was Kokichi's true objective. It's why he claimed to be the mastermind. Thinking fast, Kokichi closed the shutter so that Maki could not re-enter the hangar. Thus, Kokichi's final lie was set into motion. When Maki returned with the antidote, she couldn't get back inside the hangar, so she went around to the hangar bathroom and passed the antidote through the window. Ooh. But after the culprit was given the antidote, 
Kokichi immediately snatched it. Damn. Kokichi drank down all of the antidote, while the culprit and Maki watched in horror. But it was fake, because the cap was still on. <laughs> Maki must have been panicking, thinking the only antidote was now gone. She believed that the culprit was going to die from her own poisoned arrow. But it was all another one of Kokichi's lies. He had only pretended to drink the antidote. Maki tried desperately to break into the hangar, even slashing the control panel. But she couldn't get the shutter to open again. Defeated, she had no choice but to leave. After Maki had left, Kokichi took out another weapon. <laughs> Crazy face. <laughs> An electrobomb. Capable of disabling communication devices for hours. Communication devices? Huh. That's the first time they've said it in that way. Kokichi's plan was to use an electrobomb to knock out Monokuma's surveillance cameras. Mm -hmm. That was why he commissioned Mew to make the bombs in the first place. After detonating an electrobomb, Kokichi coerced the culprit into drinking the antidote. In exchange for the antidote, Kokichi asked the culprit to cooperate with his plan. Yeah. Kokichi needed to work with the culprit to execute his final lie. God, you're so crazy, Kokichi. Like, really. In the end, we figured out everything. So... Did... Did you really win? <laughs> I don't think so, bro. All this succeeded in doing was getting you and Kaito both killed, man. Under normal circumstances, the culprit would never have agreed to such a plan. But because the culprit owed him for saving their life, they agreed to Kokichi's request. Alright. He is a man of honor. Ah, request is a generous term. It was more like blackmail. Yeah. In any case, the two were now working together as accomplices in an insane plan. There was a lot to prepare, and not a lot of time. They had to work fast. If Kokichi died from the Strike 9 poison, the whole plan would be ruined. Yeah, and then Maki would be guilty of that. After fabricating the scene in the bathroom, the culprit dragged Kokichi to the hydraulic press. This is how the swipe pattern bloodstain from the bathroom to the press was created. I'm glad they explained that. Kokichi, with the support of the culprit, stood in front of the press's control panel. The two of them were finally ready to execute the insane lie. Insane indeed. While Kokichi was setting up the video camera near the hydraulic press's control panel, the culprit laid face up inside the press, draping their coat over their shoulders. Then, Kokichi activated the press and the camera's record button at the same time. Ooh, I think he was suffering too. <laughs> the hydraulic press came down slowly, all caught on tape for us to see. Normally, the safety function would have triggered but the electrobomb had disabled it. The press got lower and lower, and just as the culprit disappeared from view, Kokichi pressed the force stop button and the camera's pause button simultaneously. Yep, the pause button, I knew it. The two then switched places and also switched roles. Hmm. The culprit and the victim. Yep. That looks weird. The would-be victim became our culprit and started up the press and camera. Eesh, what a Kokichi way to go. Had saved the culprit's life because his trick required their cooperation. Uh, yikes. He wanted to win the killing game. Even if it meant dying himself. Freaking psycho. And so, Kokichi was crushed by the press, 
and the whole thing was caught on video. The culprit's left sleeve was dangling from the press, making us think he was the victim. Now alone, the culprit collected the video camera and tore the hydraulic press's power cord so that it could never be raised again. Mm -hmm. This would make it impossible for us to determine the identity of the crushed body. Jeez. But there was another reason the victim was killed in this way. It obfuscated the cause of death, making the case that much more difficult to solve. This was all part of Kokichi's plan to create a murder not even Monokuma could figure out. Mm -hmm. With the press disabled, the culprit returned to the bathroom to flush Kokichi's clothes. Oh, Kaito, honey, you should have known that wouldn't work. <laughs> Finally, they climbed inside of an exosol to hide and waited with bated breath. Yep. And here they are now in this trial, pretending to be Kokichi. Uh. They're trying to deceive Monokuma in order to defeat the true mastermind. And that's it. That's Kokichi's unidentified culprit trick. Just imagine him bowing. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Aw, Kaito. The culprit is in that exosol. It's you, isn't it? Oh, man. Kaito Momota, the ultimate astronaut. Ah, uh, they make him look so evil. But no, Kaito's not evil. He's just in over his head, as usual. Poor guy. Ah, this is so messed up. I'm right, aren't I? That's you in there, isn't it, Kaito? Ah. Dude, just come clean. Really? Is it really, Kaito? I must reluctantly agree with Shuichi's deduction. Man! Shuichi sure loves his crazy deductions! <laughs> Kaito, <laughs> you're still not going to admit it, dude. Huh? You're still not going to admit it? Well, I'm sure uh, Kokichi told him, do not admit it, no matter how compelling Shuichi's arguments are. Admit it, but it's wrong. But logically speaking, his deduction tracks. If it's really Kaito in there, he would have admitted it by now. Hmm. No, my detective work was flawless. It's the truth. I'm sure that Kaito is inside that exosol. So why is Kaito still fighting me? Is this about Monokuma? Or is there another aspect to this? Yeah, what's going on, dude? You claim everything is set, and that's it. You don't have any evidence, do you? Oh boy. think the body was switched when the hydraulic press stopped for a minute. But that's just speculation in the end. No evidence to back it up. So if we reverse our reverse way of thinking, then it's likely I didn't do anything, right? It's totally possible that the body switching never happened and Kaito is dead. Hmm. Not just possible, it's the actual truth. There's no proof that the bodies were switched. But there has to be, right? No, we should trust Shuichi's deduction. I'm sure everything will be okay. This emotion I've learned, I believe you call it faith. That's what I feel right now. Aw, Kibo. Thank you. That's right. We have to believe in Shuichi. Well, I don't care either way. But if you guys get it wrong, you'll have to deal with Monokuma. Hmm. What will the results of this voting time be? But Monokuma doesn't know either, so <laughs> like we could say anything and he'd be like, okay, sure. <laughs> if Monokuma makes a mistake, he won't be able to execute anyone, right? Then it will be my victory. And that will ruin the entire killing. I feel like that's what they want. They want to say, uh, Monokuma, you're wrong, you know? I see. So that's your objective, yes. You mean to ruin the killing game itself. 
That's why Kaito has been so stubborn all this time. But what does he mean by ruin, exactly? When Akuma can do whatever he wants to the rules, how do you ruin something like that? What would be the point? Yeah, I'm kind of confused. Start the building already. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting to it. Sheesh! Let's proceed with voting time, shall we? Sorry I fell short of your expectations, but I'm pretty sure I won't make any mistakes. Hmm. Because I got the ultimate detective's airtight logic on my side. Hmm. But if he's believing us, even though I think we're right, then Kaito and Kukichi's goal was, like, pointless, right? Are we just gonna let it stay like this? I thought we were done, but now I'm like, hmm... Now I know the whole truth and why. I believe in my own logic, and I believe in Kaito. From this point on, it's not about logic. It's about how far I'm willing to go. I believe in you, Kaito. Not as a detective, but as Shuichi Saihara. Uh, can I just say something? I'd like to have one last conversation before we vote. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Really? We've never done this before. Huh. Hmm? One last conversation? There's more to talk about? You see, before we vote, there's something I have to say. Okay. I just need you all to listen. Hmm. What's up with this? And this is the line music, too. What are we supposed to say? Um... Alright, let's pin this down. Who is inside that exosol? Hmm? Kaito, right? Yeah. That's what you said, isn't it? Should be. Kokiji's the one who died! And the culprit is Kaito standing right there! Isn't that correct? <laughs> of course not! I would never die! I'll see the detective can never be wrong. I trust Shuichi! Kaito is trying to ruin the game. That's why he's hiding the truth. I don't know exactly why. But he's putting his life on the line for it. So to put my faith in him, this is the only way. But everything that we've determined up to now, what if I turn it all on its head? That's why the music's playing. We have to lie, you guys. I, uh, okay, I was thinking to myself, we haven't had to lie this whole trial. Like, the few times that I was like, oh, I think I could lie, but I didn't have to. I was wondering, like, hmm, why haven't we had an actual obligatory lie yet? Interesting how we have it at the very end. Okay. What are we gonna lie about, though? Yes, I need to lie. Alright, let's pin this down. It has to be this. We haven't saw. used this yet. Kokichi's disappearance. Mm -hmm. Kaito, right? But on what? Well, that's what you said, isn't it? Kokichi's the one who died! Oh shoot, I forgot how to lie. <laughs> oh, I missed it. There. There we go. Kokichi, I'm sorry. I just can't lie for you anymore. <laughs> oh, here we go. What do you mean, lie? Ooh, here we go. <laughs> Why did you say Kokichi? The one in the Exosol is... I'm so sorry, everyone. I've deceived you all. What the... Huh? The truth is, after we found the crushed body, I... saw Kokichi. Oh? You saw Kokichi? Are they actually gonna believe him? Mm. Yes. He threatened me. Told me that if I didn't do what he said, he'd kill us all. Oh. He wanted me to lie about what I saw, so that the trial would be more interesting. But I can't do it anymore. 
I can't keep lying like this. <laughs> the award for best actor goes to. <laughs> I have to tell the truth. Kokichi isn't dead. He's alive. Hold on. Why did you wait until now to mention this? I'm so sorry, Kibo, but it's true. Really? I really am sorry. This is the only way. Oop, sorry. Kaito is trying to fool Monokuma. Trying to ruin the class trial. But what are you gonna do? I mean... I don't know, Monokuma's not that stupid, you know? <laughs> it's a little late to be doing this. If Kaito is risking his life to do this, then I'll stand by him. I believe in Kaito. I will believe in what he's trying to do. He's not doing this to hurt us. I'm sure he's trying to save us all. Well, we figured it out so late. If Monokuma wants to rely on my detective work, fine. I'll just lie. Everyone, please, don't vote for Kaito. There's no doubt about it. Kokichi is in that exosol. He's the culprit. Hmm. Hey, Shuichi, I don't know what you're scheming. But as far as I'm concerned, you guys aren't extras at all. If you guys are wrong, you're gonna have to take your punishments like champs. Got it? Dude. I don't think you're fooling him at all. I'm not wrong. We can't vote for Kaito. Stop it. That's enough. Oh, Kaito. Kaito. What about your plan? What are you doing? Huh? Oh. It's over. Oh, Kaito, no. But then all of the everything's for nothing and you're gonna die. If you guys get it wrong and Monokuma gets it right, then you'll all get punished. Ah. Oh. There's no way I can let that happen. Kaito. So, it's fine. Let's end this. Oh, my baby. Wait, how do you still have a jacket? What the frick? Oh, yeah, I just went and grabbed an extra jacket from my room. <laughs> Dude, your jacket! Like, what? You, when, when did you have time to do that? <laughs> what the frick? <laughs> oh, yeah, I've just been uh, chilling out in here all this time. <laughs> Are you wearing slippers, sir? I'm happy to see you, but I'm sad, too, because this is just bad. Aw. Kaito! Aww. So, it really was you? My bad for tricking you guys. I'll explain everything. No! But before that, it's voting time. Alright, don't get it wrong. I'm definitely the culprit. You got it? No, Kaito. I'm the one who killed Kokichi. Kaito, no! Uh. It's just like you to figure it all out, Shuichi. You're really something else. Uh. So all you gotta do is believe in your reasoning. That's what detectives do. Ah, oh, this sucks. Hey, Monokuma! Let's hurry up and get this vote started! <laughs> well said. Let's get this started then. Ah, Kokichi would be so pissed right now. <laughs> Actually, I'm okay with that though. <laughs> Kokichi's screwing over everybody. Ah, uh, frick. Don't worry, Kaito. We'll 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 get the stupid mastermind in the next one. I promise. Your death will not be in vain. The heart racing excitement as the blackened and the spotless face off. It's voting time. Ah, oh, this is horrible. Here we go again. But but I hate Kokiji. Uh, I don't know, my baby. Uh. This is not fair. I hate this. <sighs> this is the worst. <laughs> it seems the voting has finished. Now then, 
and see the result. God, this trial was long. <laughs> this sucks. I'm super upset right now. I mean, I'm happy Kaito's alive, but it's not gonna last long. Ah. Who'll be chosen as the black? Okay, shut up. It's the same old, same old. I mean, you don't freaking know, <laughs> except for the fact that Kokichi's gone and Kaito's here. So. Oh man, this sucks. Kaito, no. I kind of sucked at this trial. I screwed up on a few things here and there. <laughs> Still got an A though. Not bad. <laughs> uh, I got a B. Why do I get a B in the close? Oh wait, I did do one oopsie. Okay, that's why. That's fine. Uh, you guys, this sucks. I'm super upset. No. Well, well, I can't deal. <laughs> <laughs> I can't deal. Y'all know. I, I can't. I'm just not looking forward to the next episode at all. But that's it for now, you guys. I can't. <sighs> my heart. My heart. It's already broken to like a million pieces. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. It took me forever. <laughs> I'm gonna edit it as much as I can, but... Yeesh. A lot of twists and turns, but in the end, I was right, I guess, yeah? Yay? Ugh, I hate this. Alright, I'm gonna go cry in a corner and try to mentally prepare myself for the next episode, which I'm not gonna record until probably a week from now, <laughs> because the weather's gonna be really hot soon, and I need to wait until it's cooler to be able to record. But anyway... Thank you, hope you enjoyed it, and see you in the next episode. Until then, have a nice day. Bye-bye.